nicotine, I love it. Right. <laughs> now, um, right. So, now I'm actually only here because uh, my mate said uh, he'd give me a, a free drink if I gave it a go. So, <laughs> all right. So, I jumped up. Now, at this point, when you're disabled and you jump out of a wheelchair, <laughs> <laughs> the mic is falling. Um, so when you uh, jump up out of a wheelchair, <laughs> oh my god. You think this is actually a bit awkward, I'm now on the floor, and I've got to work out how the hell to get back up. <laughs> but anyway, speaking of uh, drunk guys in the wheelchair, now, we're obviously amazing drivers, as you just saw, perfect reversing, thank you everyone. <laughs> now, uh, because of this, once you give us a couple of shots, we're instantly the stick of the wheelchair world. Now, obviously, <laughs> it's <laughs> now. Obviously, we've actually run over at least six people by the end of the night. <laughs> now, uh, one of the most fascinating things I've learned recently was that you can actually get arrested for being drunk and charged in a wheelchair. Now, I didn't even know this was possible. But what I want to know is how on earth does it work? So, they come up to you and say, Oh, excuse me, mate, I need to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need to tell you and your wheelchair on the back of my car? <laughs> no. And uh, what, what if the uh, breathalyzer is like? You know, it's like, oh, excuse me, do you mind uh, getting up and walking in a straight line? Again, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to talk to you about me over. <laughs> <laughs> talk to you about uh, the dangerous in inanimate objects. Now, you know don't have to deal with this very often, but let's say you're driving around the pavement at the breakneck speed of three miles per hour, <laughs> and suddenly an invisible pothole appears out of nowhere. Now, you're now so far off your seat, you think you've been abducted by an alien. <laughs> but uh, let me tell you about another story. I remember specifically when I was driving out in the freezing cold with my, uh, my parents. And um, by this point, I was already dying from the cold. And suddenly, this wild bench appeared out of nowhere. Now, <laughs> I've never considered the bench as a formidable enemy before. <laughs> Until this day. Now, you see, what happened was it just absolutely shut down my chair as I crashed into it. But my parents obviously hadn't seen us. So every time now, whenever I'm walking through a park, my parents are like, oh, watch out for the bench. I'm like, it's at the other end of the fucking park, Mum. <laughs> but, um, so, uh, as I'm sure a few of you have figured out by now, I am disabled. <laughs> so, it's great, it's not a laughing matter. <laughs> um, so, what comes to that is uh, a bunch of things, but I'm going to talk about one, which is, I have personal assistants. Now, uh, these guys are great, yeah, but this obviously opens itself up to lots of opportunities and victories. I'll give you a couple of ideas, a couple of examples there. Now, um, I have a machine at home that helps me cough. So what it does, it goes in my face, it blows air in, it sucks it out. Now, anyone who just had other ideas for that machine, <laughs> I can assure you it doesn't work. <laughs> So uh, whenever I get a new person, what I do is I get them to put it on, and as soon as it starts sucking in, I make an absolutely terrified face and start screaming in trauma. <laughs> <laughs> At which point they then put it off again, which you're all thought people. And I'm like, no, why are you taking it off? You're not even doing your job properly. So I'm actually go them, <laughs> and then they're soon out the door because I fire them. <laughs> um, another example is. Uh, I have my lights, my blinds, and my soundbar at home all connected up to my phone. So I'm going to let your mind go wild with that. But I can assure you, I have had some fun times in the morning under my pool cover. <laughs> Again, no image of minds. <laughs> now, um, for my next, my final example, I'm actually going to need someone uh, to come up here and help me. So, uh, so are you from the front? Yep. Yeah? Do you want to come here? Oh, sister's going to be scared from behind me. <laughs> think, think you're better than me, dear. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, what I'm going to do, mate, is I'm going to drop my hand like this, yep. and then you've got to put it back on the controller. This is a PA's job. Give 